Hey, I'll check here. Hey. My wife, Paige. Hey. So, yeah, today is a good day. Mm -hmm. We are, uh, we've got some good news. We sold our house. We just closed on it Monday. So we closed on our house. Uh, everything went smooth. We got our money. We sold our little car. We sold our little car actually a couple of days before that. Um, some nice guy come out and just paid cash. He brought a wad full of cash and threw it on the table and I took it. And so we're done pretty much. Uh, yeah. got seven more days here in Magnolia. Our friends are going to be here tomorrow. Um, we're just, it's kind of like crunch time, I guess. We're just really kind of looking around and seeing what kind of last minute things that uh, I can do to prepare for the unknown, I guess. And mainly I'm bored as hell and I'm trying to find things to do. So I, uh, you know, we, we, We've got the yard here in my mom's house pretty well situated. And, uh, I've done a couple more modifications to the trailer. Um, I tore out this little thing right here. Now this had a cushion down here. Uh, kind of similar to this. So I thought, you know, I need more space for shoes, of course, and some other things. So I took that out. That is where the heater is, so I kind of put some insulation board, and that's really duct tape, but, uh, you know, just something for, you know, something to look a little bit better than the, than the silver board, so, but yeah. I added a couple more plastic storage bins for food. Um, of course, I, I got some stuff. I'll, I've got to make something to keep these drawers from coming out. I got these here, and I Velcroed these down, but I made these little rods uh, that I bent, and I'm just going to stick them in this little these holes here while we're going down the road. I drilled a hole there, and that ought to keep it. That ought to keep it secure, so... Yeah, I did that. Um, you know, just trying to find some some better organization here. Uh, I've got my second battery hooked up outside. Oh, I did get some fans in here for uh, for some circulation when we don't have power because our electricity went out a few times during the storm, and uh, so I bought these fans. <clears throat> I've, we got them at where? We Walmart. Yes. So we got these fans at Walmart, and uh, I just uh, I wired it in through the wall. Now this is for the that's for the the slide out. So I I, I wired it into that wire there because it's a pretty thick wire. I think it's like a ten gauge wire. So, but yeah, it oscillates. And this thing blows a lot harder than that stupid tornado fan that we have in our room. <laughs> but uh, it's a little noisy, but it's okay. Sometimes that's soothing. So I put one in our room too. Uh, I mounted it up here so that we could have the door open. And uh, the fan noise might drown out whatever noise is possibly outside. could be bad but you know if there's kids or cars or something wherever we're staying but yeah so I'm, I'm pretty happy with the fans uh they were like 11 dollars at walmart they were pretty cheap but they're they're 12 volt battery operated fans so i don't need the electricity to have some kind of air circulation so 
and this beats the hell out of that stupid thing here that doesn't really blow at all so I still got a light problem uh, you know I, I ordered some bulbs online from a couple of you know a couple people made some suggestions about lights and stuff you know I still have these little things that keep popping out uh, they, these they, they pop out of the sockets whenever they get hot so I don't I don't I don't understand that still but so I ordered some and they seem to be better but I've got a they're different color you know look at that I don't really like that color uh, at nighttime the blue is just I don't know it doesn't really radiate the light seems like I'm not sure but that's I don't know it's not gonna work it's gonna bother me so it's just not gonna work for me so uh, we're gonna have to find out another way to get lights now we're gonna be on the road in seven days so I'm not gonna have an address to have stuff shipped to so I think uh, we made the decision today to go to Holiday World uh, downtown in Houston which is a big RV place uh, I'm sure y'all probably know about it or have something similar like that in your hometown but. so right now I'm just gonna sit here and uh, I'm kind of hungry I think I'm gonna make some homemade pancakes I've been craving pancakes of course uh, I'm still trying to get used to cooking in in the trailer Paige does most of the cooking but uh, I like to cook breakfast. I can cook too, but I like to make breakfast. So. Yeah, I'm gonna make some pancakes and then we're gonna get ready to go. Uh, we need to go in town. Uh, I wanna go to the gym and then we're gonna go to, uh, we're gonna eat lunch and then we're gonna go to holiday. Yeah, that's about it on the modifications. Uh, the roof leak seems to be fixed. Uh, it has rained hard here a few times. It seems like it's never going to stop raining. I just saw on the news where uh, we have a, a lot of extreme heat temperatures pretty much where we're going. We're going to be in New Mexico soon and it's, and it's like over 100 degrees right now. Uh, but we just saw where Colorado is, is uh, in the 70s same with Wyoming but there's a heating trend coming and they say in the East Coast area the water the temperature is going to be a little bit warmer than normal uh, this year so it doesn't hurt our feelings you know we're moving to Thailand so it's not like we don't like the damn heat so as long as we're not trapped in the damn snow I know it's going to be cool probably at nighttime and in, uh, in Wyoming and Especially in Canada, so I don't know how long we're going to be in Canada, but uh, I know it's going to be cool at night. Anyway, that's it. Uh, get breakfast going.
So we were looking at uh, coolers for our trick because one problem, you know, you can't keep ice in the freezer because there's barely enough room in your freezer for things. So, uh, you know, I was looking at coolers. So I have coolers, but, you know, you put the ice in there and it melts after a couple hours because it's so hot. But uh, we planned on putting the cooler in the trailer while we're traveling, you know, with the ice, you know, in case we want to buy, you know, a few steaks or chickens or something or some beer, you know, for that night while we're on a road trip. So, uh, you know, I was looking at those Yeti coolers because they, you know, the, uh, you know, everybody says how great these Yetis are, you know, uh, they're rated pretty good. So we went and looked at them and they're like $300. There's no friggin' way. Uh, even the knockoffs that are similar to that are still a couple hundred bucks. So, I mean, ice is cheap. I'm not, it doesn't, it's not that important to me. So, uh, my wife was doing some research online about uh, coolers and stuff. So, uh, here's what she come up with and it works. So, we bought ice, what, yesterday about, you know, in the afternoon, late afternoon. Yeah. So, we bought it like late. Five? Yeah, about five, just a small bag. So uh, I've got this cooler. Now this is a Rubbermaid cooler. And that's probably, you could probably buy that at like Walgreens or something. You know, they sell them everywhere, but I think the cheapest place would be like CVS or Walgreens for probably under 20 bucks, I would think. Huh, for that cooler? Okay. Yeah, somewhere. Um, it, they're not $300, okay? So here's the deal. So you open it up show them and inside we have a cooler bag so in the cooler bag uh, you know it's an insulated bag so we put the ice in the cooler bag in the cooler and guess what I still have about the same as what we because you know I made a few drinks last night and so that that's it right there so I know it's not going to last forever but we're going to be gone for a few hours today it's 95 degrees here in houston it's about 90 right now so we'll see uh we'll see how long it lasts when we come back uh, all right just wanted to let you know that that was pretty cool and i i, I think uh we're going to just keep doing that instead of the 300 dollar yeti so bad enough i got to go buy 300 dollars worth of freaking light bulbs i think today so all right we're back home from our little trip so I want to, uh, we left here, I think about one o'clock. I want to check my ice. I'm really curious to see about my ice. Uh, so we bought this ice, uh, right now it's been 24 hours. It's been sitting outside in that cooler ever since we bought it. So it's, it's uh, indexed at about 103 today, I think. So let's see. Let's see if our, uh, oh, I don't hear any ice, so I think it's gonna be water. Let's check it out. Let's see, let's pull it out of there and see what it's like. Yeah. Look at that, still got, still got ice in there. So mm -hmm. yeah, so uh, I think it worked pretty good. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, if we have it inside the trailer, uh, I don't know, maybe it'll be hotter in the trailer, I'm not sure, but uh, mm -hmm. we've never had ice sit outside in a cooler for 24 hours in a small bag of ice and still have ice in it, so yeah. I think I'm going to change my uh, Rubbermaid cooler, it's uh, it's not a Yeti, but maybe we'll call it, we'll call it Jetty, so yeah, it worked. One <laughs> third. If it was a big bag of ice, probably be even fuller, huh? Mm. So, yeah, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. I'm happy that I didn't spend 300 bucks. Mm -hmm. Of course, this was all Paige's. Uh, Paige is the brains of this operation. Don't let her fool you. She's, I'm just a follower. So. Well, it's 4.30. Sit down, have me a nice, cool drink. So we went to a few places today uh, to try to find those LED bulbs for 
the trailer. So we went to uh, we went to a place called uh, Holiday World, and uh, Holiday World didn't have too many uh, too many parts and ex well, I don't know about parts, but they didn't have a whole lot of accessories uh, that I that I saw. However, uh, a lot of their pricing was cheaper than uh, than the other place that we went to. So the other place was Camping World. So at Camping World, they have a, I mean, they, they got a whole lot of camping stuff there. It's kind of like uh, the Walmart of camping supplies and, uh, and RV and travel trailer accessories and parts. But uh, it is expensive. Um, you know, I understand that, uh, that you got to have the... Uh, you know, you, you gotta you gotta make a profit for the to collect for the overhead that you have. I mean, I understand how business works, but man, some of this stuff is very expensive. So, yeah, I was really impressed with a lot of things that they do carry. Uh, they've got just about everything you need uh, to accessorize, uh, upgrade uh, parts. They, I mean, they've got a lot of things there. The bulbs, we did find the bulbs there. They didn't have that many to choose from on that, that particular type of LED. But unless you're a member of the club, uh, which I think I think it's cheap. It may, I don't know, it might be like $10 just to become a member. Uh, and you get, you get quite a few benefits with that. Uh, one of them is a discount on some of the overpriced stuff that they sell. Uh, but look, I mean, the price was twenty something dollars. Still, uh, I think it was, you know, still way too much money. Um, I mean, I'm just not gonna spend that kind of money on, on LED bulbs. So I should have just bought a bunch of those uh, nine dollar package of six uh, bulbs. Actually, I think there was a package of eight, maybe six like nine bucks with free shipping off the of eBay anyway uh, I know the other ones that I got from Walmart uh, Walmart does sell them but they're mostly for cars so you know cars are gonna have that bright LED look they're not gonna have the you know the the home LED I don't even know what the hell it's called I forgot the name of it it's a soft wide or there's so many different another thing is when you buy you know I'm gonna spend thirty dollars on a bulb and I don't know exactly what color it is you know, I don't know. So we'll just make it work. We'll figure it out. Uh, I still have, uh, I think I have like eight bulbs left and I still have all the original filaments, the original bulbs that went in there, but uh, I don't like them because they get hot. And uh, you know, when you're running on battery power sometimes, it does take a lot of energy to, fi to fire them things up, so. But anyway, maybe we'll find some on the, on the way. I, I, I don't know, but I think basically we just needed to get out of the house today. We were very bored. Um, we're ready to go. So our friends are probably on the plane right now, uh, flying from Thailand. It's about uh, it's 16 hours. It's well, it's like a total of about 21, 22 hours from Thailand to. To America so it's a lot of flying and it's 12 hours different so they got to get used to that but they're gonna be staying with a couple friends until they come here we're gonna get together uh, one or two nights before we take off so we can organize their stuff and, uh, yeah uh, bored to death so just thought I'd make a little filler video kind of let you know what's going on and uh, I'm ready to go. So hopefully our next video will be us uh, breaking open, breaking open a uh, bottle of champagne and celebrating our uh, our new friendship and uh, our bon voyage. So anyway, thanks for watching again. I appreciate all the comments you guys have been giving me. I've had quite a few comments about the truck, about my six-liter truck, and I'm going to break down. Yeah, if you watch some of the other videos, it kind of explains the condition of this six-liter. So I'm pretty confident. Uh, that will be safe. Uh, I guess you'll find out, you know, on the way on our journey if I if I don't make it or not. But uh, I, I think I think we'll be okay. So uh, anyway, thanks for the comments. Keep them coming. Uh, 
have any suggestions, uh, let me know. We'll see you on the next, uh, hopefully it'll be our Bon Voyage video. So, thanks.